morning, Honorable Kamale, uh, then uh, Motor Officer and Deputy Director Dr. Marvin Lopez, uh, respected Sarpanch and Deputy Sarpanch of uh, Aldona Panchayat, and uh, Mr. Mohan, General Manager Hicks, and my own team, Mission Ladies team, and uh, also we have the Goa Institute of Management volunteering students. Thank you very much for coming for this uh, starting event. And uh, this is actually the static point vaccination campaign, which is going on for the last one month. For the reason that uh, this vaccination, which helped us to go for the rabies free Goa status, has been stopped in seven talukas uh, for the reason that we have achieved one stage. So we have to now train the, the pet owners uh, to come to the hospitals or the centers every year to get their dogs vaccinated. Earlier, they clearly uh, expressed and very clearly it was a message to the public that what exactly is the thing and what is the status we have achieved. So thank you so much, sir, for doing this for us. And uh, then I request uh, uh, Dr. Marvin Lopez. Hello, good morning. Uh, again, uh, Honorable MLA of Adana Constituency, Advocate Carlos Pereira, and the whole Mission Ladies team. First of all, I must compliment all the organizers for choosing such a beautiful spot, which is so scenic, you can get a full view, and it is cool also. I only hope uh, there will be a better response from Aldona, from all the people to bring their pets. This concept of static point vaccination will take a little time to pick up among Goans because Goans have become used to mission rabies coming to their house and doing the free vaccination. So, uh, as Dr. Murugan has said, now that Goa is a controlled state for rabies, there is no need to go door to door. So uh, we are doing this static point vaccination mainly for people who have this impression that vaccination is very expensive and you know they avoid doing the vaccination. So uh, we have to raise this publicity that this is free vaccination at, at, at a static point and then these people will get. The remaining people who have their own vaccinations are still doing doctors by calling the doctors to their house. But uh, I hope this takes takes off among people who. Thank you, Dr. Lopez. Thank you, Dr. Pillay, and the entire team which has come on Mission Rabies, including the young students who are volunteering, and uh, the Asagao uh, place which uh, takes care of dogs and animals. When I was told about Mission Rabies and this uh, drive, in fact, first thing I looked up the chart is whether we are having anything in our place, and there it was. And I was very happy. Many people don't think of the virus until it strikes them. And uh, rabies is one of the virus which is preventable. And preventable because you can vaccinate your dog. The rabies is spread through the saliva of the dog and that comes from a dog bite or a dog scratch. So, and from what I have read up, and subject to correction, uh, about 95% of the cases are fatal. And uh, mostly, children up to the age of 15 who get affected suffer that immediate death. So it is uh, present in all the continents of the world except Antarctica. That's what I checked up on the WHO uh, website. and. Uh, and therefore, it's not something which is pleasant, it is quite frightening. And it's when we go out, sometimes you see the stray dog, when you go in the market and you get bitten, then you realize, and then the fear sets in. Sometimes people may die even of shock, not even the having rabies. So therefore, it is preventable. Prevention is better than cure. So I would always suggest that people should come and get their dogs vaccinated. I will share one small personal experience with you. Many, many years back, this could be somewhere in the 
end of the 1970s or 1980s. Find the dog because you have to watch the dog for some time. And the dog wouldn't be found. It was a stray dog in the market. And then I remember my grandmother virtually howling and saying that those medicine, those injections they were giving her on the stomach at that time. I don't know what's the treatment today. But uh, I think 14 injections or something like that. Say, okay. And they were very painful, she told me. So why should we have to undergo this thing if we can do a little bit of prevention? And that we love our pets. When I went around campaigning, I don't know if you may have seen some of the photographs. I don't know, except for one dog who was so nice and suddenly bit me. <laughs> suddenly bit me. <laughs> but uh, bit, I mean, I had uh, the pants, so it, nothing. Uh, my pant didn't tear. I didn't get a real bite, but actually he caught my leg. But any other place which I went, uh, the dogs were so affectionate. And often the dogs know that you are a dog lover. They smell you. They smell probably your clothes. And they know you have a dog and they come and sniff you all the time. Sometimes even that affectionate licking, which can be very dangerous because if you have a scratch or a wound, then it can uh, penetrate. So this kind of deadly kind of uh, method in which you can get rabies can prove to be fatal. So I still say uh, that please take prevention better than going for the cure. Uh, I have seen about this uh, and, uh, static uh, point vaccination, but I'm going to request you and the team, and I'm going to request the government of Goa, please continue uh, the uh, the door-to-door -door vaccination. You have made us Goans lazy, and I think people are not going to come forward that easily. It will take effort, time, vehicle. You know, there's a lot of problems for statistics, logistics. So I think uh, all this will be a problem. And once you made a custom, somebody to eating some good cheese, they will not eat bad cheese thereafter. So, uh, so once you have accustomed them to having the rabies vaccination at the door, I think please continue. Try to see at least maybe ward wise if you can give it at some near point. Maybe you can't visit every house. So they will walk their uh, pets there and get the vaccine and go back. So this is one suggestion I could make. And uh, I thank you all for organizing this. Dr. Stacy has come. So also for, for her coordination and uh, for all the efforts in doing this and keeping us updated. And uh, I wish the team all success because I know you are doing across the state and uh, in your endeavors. And if there's anything else I can do to help you all, I will not hesitate to come forward. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time here. Um, thanks um, uh, um, for your nice message and also the powerful message that you put out yesterday about uh, the importance of vaccination. Now, uh, Goa is uh, a deemed uh, rabies state uh, and that has only been possible because of the partnership that we have had with uh, Mission Rabies and the Department of uh, Animal Husbandry and most importantly the public and the community. So to continue to, to have Goa rabies free, this partnership needs to continue and the important player in that partnership is the community and the community. Agreed that uh, you are now used to uh, having door-to-door -door vaccination happening, uh, but it, the fact is that it, can, it is not a sustainable model in terms of resource-wise, so we will have to have public come to static points and the hospitals and have their dogs vaccinated. Now, to address one point that uh, our Honorable MLA did mention, is that, uh, and also Dr. Murin mentioned that it's not just the five border talukas that we do this. Uh, at WVS Hicks, uh, we go out and uh, we catch dogs, we trap dogs, and we bring them for sterilization. But any dog that walks into our campus does not leave without being vaccinated. So, which means about 600 dogs from the community are brought into our uh, campus for vaccination and sterilization. So we do about 600 dogs every day, but that's that's only a drop in the ocean compared uh, to the fact that there are more than two lakh street dogs in, in Goa. So the most important. Uh yeah. So we have. Uh, I am Dr. Marvin Lopez, Deputy Director, Animal Husbandry, and uh, also Nodal Officer for Mission Rabies. Oh, from 2015, Animal Husbandry has signed an MOU with. Mission Rabies, and for the last seven years, we have been uh, doing extensive vaccination of dogs in Goa. And thanks to which we have achieved a uh, uh, rabies-controlled state in Goa.
This is the first state in India when where uh, we have achieved this rabies controlled status. No other state in India has 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 uh, achieved this. So Goa is basically setting a setting the trend on control of rabies and all authorities from all over India are contacting animal husbandry department to find out how we managed to do this. So this was done by mass vaccination of all dogs, be on owner dogs or street dogs. And uh, now that we have achieved this rabies control status, uh, we have another problem. The neighboring states of Goa, that is the Karnataka and Maharashtra, are endemic for rabies. So there is constant incursions of the rabies virus into Goa. For this reason, the four uh, neighboring talukas, that is uh, Perne, Satari, Bicholi, and Kankon, we continue doing door-to-door -door vaccination. And the inner talukas of Bardes, Ponda, and uh, Salset, and the remaining, uh, we have stopped door-to-door -door and we are doing static point vaccination. Static point vaccination, uh, right now we are organizing camps in every panchayat in Goa and uh, providing free vaccination of rabies again uh, for dogs. My Already we have vaccinated about uh, 10 dogs, I think, but it, this is a full day program. So people will be keep, will keep coming. So uh, there should be around 200 or 300 vaccinations in each static point. How important vaccination? Vaccination, yeah, uh, rabies, rabies is a controllable disease, but it is a deadly disease. So uh, once you get rabies, there is no escape. Uh, it, it, it is fatal. So uh, the only way is to vaccinate and prevent. So uh, and the best way to control the rabies is to vaccinate dogs. So that's the reason why we are focusing on dogs. And we have not had a single case of rabies in human beings for the last four four years. Not a single case reported. Whereas before we started this program. There were 17 cases in humans, and there was this ID hospital in Ponda, where a person diagnosed with rabies would be kept till, till, uh, till the end. My name is Mitzi Baj and I stay in Mutpa uh, Ola. Okay, earlier I used to stay in Mapsa, and last year I have given the rabies vaccine to all my pets at Karaswata Veterinary Hospital. Excuse me. Okay. And, uh, since I knew that I were due now, so I was a bit uh, worried when the vaccination will be. Will be. Okay. But anyway, I came to know about it and I brought her here today for her vac uh, vaccine. Okay. Good morning. Myself, Keenan Vaz. I am the Mission Rabies Team Supervisor. Uh, we are gathered here today for the inaugural function of the Static Point vaccination campaign at uh, Aldona Panchayat. Uh, similarly, we have got uh, seven other locations at uh, various other panchayats today. And uh, for Bardes Taluka, it is going to carry on for the next uh, few days. Uh, we have completed. Uh, we have completed around. Uh, Sorry, we've completed a lot of uh, other panchayats in the seven interior talukas of Goa. And we are doing door-to-door uh, -door vaccination and stray dog vaccination for the five, uh, border taluka uh, uh, five border talukas around Goa. And we are having this vaccination, uh, uh, static point vaccination campaign only for the uh, seven interior talukas because Goa has been declared as a rabies control area. So there haven't been any uh, rabid dogs found in these talukas. So uh, there, similarly, there haven't been any uh, human deaths uh, from rabies. So what is your appeal to people? Sorry? What is the appeal to your people? 
so we would like to uh, inform all the locals from these uh, seven talukas interior talukas in the state to uh, use this opportunity of getting their dogs to this uh points because we stopped going door to door we are still giving them the benefit of these campaigns setting up at one point at a static point and all the owners come to this one point to get their dogs vaccinated how important it is so uh, just like uh, the mla uh, advocate uh, carlos ferrera said uh, before it's uh, prevention is better than cure so it's it's good that dogs are vaccinated before uh, instead of them being bit, uh, instead of them biting people and then people taking uh, vaccinations which is even more painful so that's it today we had the vaccination drive of anti rabies uh, being conducted by the animal husbandry department of the government of goa with wws and mission rabies uh, it's a very wonderful drive uh this is a static point uh, vaccination being administered i have asked them whether they should continue the system of having door to door because many people will not turn up because they are already accustomed into the door to door vaccination sometimes they have problems of getting vehicles or the logistical problems or some people are old and they can't bring also people so i have requested even if it's not door to door at least place to place they can identify places but the vaccine is uh, the rabies is a preventable uh, uh, virus and because of this we are in a position to get the doses administered it comes through the dog's saliva and that is why we need to give the dogs vaccine i appeal to everyone if fokot amchi pasot ni sunya pasot ni mon muncha pasot tu konna kenna tujhe sunya na dusre sunyak rabies ala आनी आमचे आमकान ना आमचे सोयरक आमचे फैमिली मेंबर आमचे भूगें कें घास मारले ना कितले केले जाए आमक डेंजर जो सो दैट इज वाय दीस इज अ मैटर ऑफ कंसर्न वे आई थिंक एवरी वन शूड टेक दीस सीरियसली गेट योर डॉग्स वैक्सिनेटेड रेग्युलरली टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ दीस ड्राइव विच इज बींग डन फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट बाय द गवर्मेंट ऑफ गोवा इन कंजंक्शन विथ डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू एस एंड मिशन रेबीज एंड आई विश दीस टीम great success and i still appeal to them to continue with their mission and try to see as much as possible whether they can implement it also door to door at least further point to point thank you so uh, this is our vaccination uh, setup we have uh, all our requirements here uh, this is our vaccination box uh, the rabies vaccination uh, needs to be kept cool so these are ice box ice box that we have and uh, these are the the syringes with the vaccine so each vial contains 10 doses so we need to load 10 doses at a time so they are loaded and kept ready when the owners come with their dog they are injected and after the vaccination is done we give them these vaccination record cards where the owner's name is written their address the dog's name the sex and uh, dog's breed and color and we write the uh, date given the rabies uh, batch number sticker and then the next due date so owners need to be responsible for these cards especially when we have been going door to door before many owners say that they don't have the cards that we have uh, that we've given them previously so if owners keep these cards safely uh, if their dog uh, happens to bite somebody they have proof that their dog has been vaccinated they can show when their dog was vaccinated last when their dog uh, is due for the next vaccine so uh, that's a that's their record card that we have but we are doing only rabies vaccination now for dogs they need other uh, they need another vaccination that is the antiviral vaccination 7 in 1 9 in 1 for distemper or parvo virus for the other viruses so we are giving only rabies vaccination and uh, here there is a little brief information for the owners so uh, they should get their dogs vaccinated against distemper parvo lepto all the other viruses as well uh, and that has to be done privately because that vaccine is expensive and we have a rabies hotline uh, hotline cards also that we are giving out to owners uh, this number is uh, actually for reporting any rabid dogs 
if dog show symptoms of uh, rabies salivating biting aggressive all that and then your behind a card there's a little uh, brief information uh, what do you do if a dog bites you uh, so it's just a little uh, first aid information that we have here so that's it no this is just uh, not uh, taking yeah.